It is one of those nice summer nights where it's the perfect temperature for skating. Say, I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Here I come! Wow. Oh. oh, wow, good job. Ollie. Nice. Olympics 2021. <laughs> okay, I do know this one really cool trick. I hear you guys. Less skateboard. More Lambo. You know, I gotta say, I'm really liking this. We got some really, really bright colors in the shop now. Yeah, I like the new color wraps. If you guys missed our last video, we wrapped the Range Rover Maritime Blue. Oh yeah, that looks way good. Extra shiny, thanks to this guy. Extra shiny is my middle name. Welcome back to another episode of Summit Life, everybody. We've been hard at work. We uploaded that last video for you guys, but today we've been just checking to-do list things off the list. In fact, today I changed the oil in the truck, which gave me a great idea. The Gallardo is up for an oil change. I know how to do it. I think I could get it done in about an hour, but I think it's time for Faith to figure it out. Now, why is that? I don't know, I think it'd be fun. I, you just want to laugh at me, try and figure it out? Yes. Fair enough. But Fair I think enough. it would also be great for you to know how to do it. True. In case, uh, you know, it ever needs to be changed and you're not here. Like I said, no exact hints. I'll give her kind of a little bit of guidance though. So some tips and tricks for changing the oil is the warmer the oil, the better it flows out of the vehicle. Okay. And there are drain plugs. Okay. And then there's a fill, like fill, Hole. <laughs> Hot oil drain plug fill hole. Got it. Now if there's something I know about cars, it's in order to heat up the oil, you have to drive it, correct? So we get to go drive it? Yeah, we get to warm up the engine. I get to warm up the engine? Sure. I haven't seen this car since our last uh, little uh, sunset date two weeks ago. So it's definitely long overdue. Rules of Lamborghini ownership. Always apply Lamborghini chapstick before starting. I think she's warmed up enough. <laughs> I think that was my first time hearing the Gallardo full throttle go by me. The fab speed exhaust is unreal. I know. I don't think the microphone will pick it up. It's like you're a quarter, half mile down the road and it sounds like you're right next to me. I just like the flames. All right, Sal, get to work. You got this guy. All right, now that the car's warmed up, I'm getting kind of tired. Can we like no. maybe, uh. <laughs> So like Clayton said, this is kind of up to me to figure out. I'm assuming since it's a rear engine car, we have to jack up the rear to access underneath. Correct, way to go. How do you do that? How do I do that? Yeah. I use my brain. No, how do you, how do you oh. <laughs> jack the car up? So we gotta jack the car up. There she goes, about to use her brain to jack the car up. All right. Are you sure that's the jack? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, good job. I that was am. a, that was a uh, trick question. Surprisingly enough, I know where to jack up the car. Really? Watch and learn. Go. Okay, let's see if she's ready. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Because I am supervising this oil change, I did check, and that is the correct spot where you do jack up the car. So, you doing a great job. Thanks. So, once the car is jacked up in the air, how do you keep it in the air safely? Uh, with jack stands or tire stands? <sighs> tire stands it is. I think she actually means the wheel ramps. Yeah. The tire ramps, which are right up here. Those will probably be the easiest. We'll just throw those underneath the rear tires. Call it a day. 
Almost. Oh. Almost. Oh, cool. So close. There we go. No, one more. Oh my gosh. Let her down slowly. Slowly. Don't want to hurt her feelings now. Wow. Good go. for Patrick. Being him, Patrick. Nice. Other side. Oh, this is a terrible scooter. So the car is jacked up on the wheel ramps. What is next? I'm gonna go under the car and take a looky. Okay, looks good, looks good. What's the diagnosis, boss? The diagnosis is I'm, I found something that looks like an oil plug. An oil plug, you say? I found two. Two okay. oil plugs? Gosh, maybe this won't take us five hours. Well, let me verify that those are correct drain plugs. Okay. Right here? Mm, that is not a drain plug. Oh. That is a rear subframe bolt. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, feel a little, uh, discouraged here. Uh, you're super close. How about that? I, really? There's a hint. You're super hot right now. Like, it's pretty much touching your chin. This? Ding, ding, ding! Oh. You found the, you the, found the first plug. So that's the first plug. This? Ding, 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 ding! No way! So, the first drain plug is up in there. The second drain plug is up, right up there. Okay, so, all right, let's, uh, let's meet outside the car. Well, I'm only slightly bummed that I needed a hint, but I'm glad we found it. Yes, now I already have all the supplies and tools out, so you found the drain plug, so here's the tool. Okay, so I just, I just, and then twist, but I have to have a catch can. Yeah, good, yes. Here is my low profile, high capacity oil catch can. It's actually just a Rubbermaid tub. So there's a tip and trick for you. Glove me. <laughs> Help me out here. I glove you a lot. Oh. There she goes. Okay. Let's get some leverage. I am really struggling here. Even got a hammer. <laughs> oh boy. If the drain plug falls in, it's not the end of the world. Nice. I did it! While it's draining, we should probably take the uh, filler cap off the top so that air can get in there. So where is the oil fill cap? I'm gonna take a wild guess. It's a thing that says oil? Great guess. Do I, do I have you oh. twist it or do no, I? No, you don't. <laughs> you just pull it out. <laughs> ah. So it's gonna have oil on it, careful. Yeah, that's pretty long, so good thing we're doing this. Like that? Yeah. So now that allows air to get into the system so the oil can completely drain out. You have the dolly thing right next yeah, to you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I've been draining for a while and I gotta retrieve the bowl that I dropped into the pan, so got this handy little uh, magnet guy. There it is. Does it have an O-ring on it? Hmm. Let's go fishing for that next. Okay, did you find the O-ring yet? Yes. Cool. Then you want to clean it off. Yep, and then just tighten it up. Look at me, guys. I'm uh, available for hire if you ever want your oil changed. Good. I got it. Nice. Now drain plug number two. All right, let's do this. Right. Channeling the power. <laughs> Tough oh. guy. You're Tough calling, guy, come on in. Calling in backup. There it is. Nice. Wow. Thanks. You're very welcome. That Thanks was, very much. That was tough. All right, now that I've done it once, I think I can do this one a little better. See if I can hold on to the bolt this time. This is taking an odd amount of time. 
It's very suspicious amount. Ah! <laughs> Good reaction. Did you did you hold it? Yes, I got nice. it. Nice with the O-ring. Yes. Woo! Well, I absolutely think Faith is doing a fantastic job so far without ever doing any research and only changing the oil in a GTI. Yes. That's a pretty good step Which up. I don't really remember, so this is great. So what's next? Draining, replugging. Yep, you gotta replug it. And then what? Then I'll give you a hint. Something with a filter? Yes, I will give you a hint. It's right. You can't give me a hint. So that is the oil filter right there and a specialty tool to get the oil filter housing. There's another tip right there. The oil filter housing off, but we do need to put the drain plug back in before we deal with that stuff. I'm on it. <sighs> Snug. Snug. Good job. Oil filter time. So Faith has done a fantastic job so far. She found both drain plugs with a little bit of hot and cold hinting. She knew that the oil filter is next. She has no idea where that is though. So she's on a oil filter housing hunt. Let me, let me ask you this. Do I have to remove any of this? No. That is not it. <laughs> I wasn't even pointing to it. Yes, you were. I wasn't. I can't even see in. Okay, so since we are actually technically done with underneath the car, should we lower it back down? That so you... sounds like a great idea. Okay. So I will give you one hint. You can see it right where you're standing. <laughs> but it's not where you expect it to be. Oh, I see it. You Down see in it. There. Oh. Nice. So now you have better access. Yep, right back in there. Ooh, there's the view. There it is. You can see it right there. Perfect. Now you gotta open your special tool. Lamborghini Gallardo oil filter wrench. Unboxing. So I put it on and I turn it. Yes. Good job. Bear with me, everyone. Nice. I think you got this. And thanks for the support. You're very welcome. So normally, oil filter housings aren't on there very tough. It is hot down there. It is very But it's toasty. turning. Oh, good. You're doing it by hand? Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, so you... it's off. Okay. You got this. Oh my gosh. Almost. It's like I'm pulling a baby out. Oh! <laughs> nice. Your little stool. <laughs> nice, you got it. Well, where's the filter? Oily filter coming through, watch out. You're on the right track, yes. You look confused though. I'm not confused. Okay. You guys are about to watch me ace the rest of this oil test. Job. One hint, one quick tip. You do need to put a little bit of oil on that O-ring so that it doesn't bind up, so it slides right into place. I got just the thing. You got a whole bunch of that. Technically, we should be using new oil. Get to use my little handy dandy tool here. Tint it up. That's pretty snug. Okay. I trust you. Oh, I, get, <laughs> I need a real step. <laughs> you need a better step stool. Okay, so we are in the home stretch. Now we put the oil in there. Yes. With a funnel. Yes. Ooh, it's bone dry now. It's because all the oil's in the pan over there. Yeah. I'm feeling good about this funnel. Okay. Mm. I'm not feeling good about this. I'm not feeling good about that funnel. Let's try the blue one. Oh yeah, much better. Mmm, nah, red it is. All right, we've got some Penn's oil recommended highly from Lambofam, big shout out. Wow, 
That's a lot of oil. It's 12 quarts. Um, technically, the car takes like 10 and a half quarts. Okay. I just double checked the oil capacity online for the Gallardo and I was a little bit off. It's not 10 and a half, it's actually 10.03. Ah, so 10. But let's go ahead and add eight and then we will check the level and then add accordingly. Sounds great. You do not, you do not want to overfill Gallardo's. Uh, it actually causes catastrophic engine oh. damage and it also makes it so it's just like crazy smoke out the back. It just burns off the oil. I don't want that no. at all. Glug. If you pour the oil with the spout on top this way, mm -hmm. it doesn't glug as much. Okay. Still glugging. Well, there, see it doesn't glug until you put it upside down. Well, I'm impatient, all right? <laughs> okay, fine. Make it glug, make it glug. That was eight, and now we check. There's no real way for you to know how to do this, but do you know how to check the oil yes. level? Okay, but on a Gallardo? It's a little bit different procedure on a Gallardo. Do you have to start the car? Yes. There's literally no way for her to know unless you look it up or look in the odor manual. So you do need to turn on the car, you need to rev it to 2,000 RPMs for a minute and a half, for 90 seconds, then quickly turn off the car and then check the oil. You ready? Yes. Oh. Is that good? No, we need to be between, between those two and we're right there. Okay, so more. Yes, we need to add about one quart more. So the reason you start the Gallardo and rev it is because it is a dry sump system, you need the pumps to get the oil everywhere in the system prior to checking the oil level. Boom. We did it. Or I did it. So now over the next few days, we need to keep an eye on this. After we drive it around, we should check it just to make sure. Man, you got quite a mess to clean up. I know, tell me about it. So first things first, we need to dispose of the used oil. And how I do that is I put it back in the containers and then take it to the auto parts store. Finally get to let my hair down and go make myself some mac and cheese. So this is your sign to go check the oil levels in your car. We should have been doing that. We were slacking a little bit. We were actually two quarts low. Oof. So these are empty and we're out of used oil, so. Everything looks good. Dang, I think you've passed your Lamborghini Tech certification, so good job. I feel really, really good that the oil change is checked off the list for the Gallardo. Now we know it's nice and safe with the proper amount of oil. Unfortunately, it was running a little bit low, we learned. So we need to stay on top of checking that. We actually have a couple more quarts there to top it off if necessary. But we have some really, really fun mods coming to the Gallardo really, really soon. If you guys were a very, very keen viewer, you would have noticed some things in the background that pertain to the next mod. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. We have a lot of really, really fun things planned. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another one of our videos. I'm gonna go eat some mac and cheese. Peace. <laughs> Peace.